line. Uh, hi, Nigel. You were doing so well then. I was almost agreeing with you up to oh. and, then, <laughs> and then you kept talking, and then you proved that you have no idea what you're talking about. Again, Nigel. Right, okay, oh, so, keep doing right, it, Jason, my friend. Tell me why okay, check, okay, 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 tell me why. Tell me why Checkers is a really good deal. Checkers is dead. It was useless, it was pointless, and it was asking the European Union to do something that they cannot possibly do. Basically, break up the four freedoms of the single market, which is a fundamental underlying principle of the European Union. It would be like, in terms of population size, it would be like someone like Kazakhstan coming to the United Kingdom saying, I demand a free trade deal with the United Kingdom, but I only want to deal with England and Wales, and I don't want to talk to Scotland, and I don't want to do anything with them. I want you to break up the United Kingdom in order to be able to work with us. It's just a ridiculous proposal, Checkers, and that's where we, you and I are in agreement. Right, so we agree about that. So, 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 yeah. so if she chucks well, Checkers, what next? Well, the, the only options on the table are, as you said, no deal. Yep. And the EU are saying you have to accept the EU proposal to solve the Irish border situation. Which we don't. And uh, the EU situation is, of a proposal, is that Northern Ireland stays inside the customs union and is treated differently to the rest of the UK. Theresa May has said there is no way that any Prime Minister could ever accept that. Hmm. Uh, because, A, because she'd lose the support of the DUP and her government was full, obviously. Which is a, pra- a, which is a yeah. practical reason, isn't it? Well, for her personally, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. So I spent uh, last Thursday and Friday in Geneva. Um, we met with, uh, non-stop, pretty much for two days, with international trade lawyers, geopolitical policy writers. Uh, people have been doing this stuff for donkey's years. WTO rules in the UK, the opinion of the, the most expert experts that mm. I've certainly ever come across, mm. is that the first trade deal we're likely to get, after we leave with a cliff edge and no deal Brexit, we would spend the fastest, quickest deal we get would probably be with a country that's got a liberalised trade policy similar to the UK's, somebody with a democratic, liberal-style government similar to the UK's, and that would be Canada. That would be the quickest, fastest deal the UK would get, and that would be, take about two years, is their best estimate, if everything went smoothly. Well, Jason, I mean, hang on. The yeah. Australians managed to negotiate a trade deal with America, which negotiating time was ten months start to finish. So we could do better. But anyway, Jason, your point is... So what is your point? Are you saying that if she chucks checkers... I mean, what do you think she ought to do? Because we're really asking. She's got this dilemma, hasn't she? She's got everybody opposing checkers, including you and me. What do you think she should do? i tell you what she, she definitely should do. Any responsible prime minister would be on the plane to Brussels tomorrow saying, or maybe October 19th, after the next summit, when, when it's categorical that we run out of time, uh, there is no deal on the table that's viable or feasible proposed by the United Kingdom. We haven't settled the Irish border situation. The UK government haven't done anything sensible towards the withdrawal agreement in two years. We've faffed around, wasted our time arguing amongst ourselves in Chequers and in Westminster. Mm-hmm. Um, when she realises there's no deal and the catastrophic yeah. effect of that... Cut, yeah, Jason, come, of time, I, I know your opinion. Come to the point. What should she do? She should go and state, state, uh, withdraw our intention to leave the European right, Union. fair enough, she, Jason. No, nope, that's your view. That's fine. Alan on Facebook agrees. It's not time to chuck checkers. It's time to chuck Brexit. Well, that's the view of some so far. It's not my view. I think she will be forced to chuck checkers, and I see it as an opportunity to go back to the European Union and to push them for once, rather than them pushing us around. You're listening to The Nigel Farage Show exclusively on LBC. It is now 6.15, and time for the news headlines with Lisa Aziz. Theresa May 